You've all probably heard the name Sernando, and if you haven't, you are so lucky. Once I found out about this YouTuber, I wished I never clicked on his channel. This dude is weird. For example, a month ago he posted a video titled, I played Fortnite on the worst controller possible, and then a week later posted a video titled, I win Fortnite with the most overpowered controller. The funny thing here is that in both thumbnails, it's the same controller. But how can a controller be the worst controller, and then a week later be the best controller? Now this is what I mean when I say he is a weird YouTuber, and today, we are all going to take a look at his videos, and I'll have you guys meet one of the most controversial and interesting YouTubers on YouTube. Let's go. A very long time ago, Sernando posted Black Ops 2 trolling videos, and that's how his channel got started. Eventually though, he started to post Grand Theft Auto 5 videos, which was around the time that he started to become a horrible YouTuber. Those Black Ops 2 videos weren't bad at all, but his GTA 5 videos were something else. For example, nobody knows how to use this GTA 5 feature. The thumbnail is an ATM being broken and cash falling out. I used to play GTA 5 all the time and I'm pretty sure you can't do that at all. Let's see this feature that he's talking about. Okay, I guess it wasn't even in the video, nice. He posted many other very weird GTA 5 videos, such as only 1% of all GTA 5 players know this secret, and GTA 5 Tracy's hidden secret. These GTA 5 videos are just straight clickbait, but once we actually look at some of the videos he posts now, we will see clickbait and a lot more horrible things. Let's take a look at the video titled GTA 6 Unboxing My Prize from Rockstar Games. Now why in the world would Rockstar send this dude and this dude only their game before it even released? So look what I got early from Rockstar Games themselves. No you didn't. Guys, in this box, we got the major hookup today. No you don't. We got the major major hookup by... A very wonderful person over on Rockstar Games. Now, one of the employees from the company itself managed to go ahead and get me the game. No, they didn't. After waiting for literally months for this, it took forever. So again, I wanted to go ahead and show it to all of you people. Now, I'm convinced that he said this 30 times now. Now, my boy Anthony is going to be hooking us all up with some Grand Theft Auto 6 beta code. Now, he did say if this video manages to get 10,000 likes, I'm going to go ahead and message up everybody privately who do support the video. Me and my boy Anthony are going to hook you guys up. We'll message you and we'll give you the game, man. Wow, so much information. And he lied about the beta codes. The beta wasn't even out back then and it still isn't even out today. So here we see a package that says uh, Grand Theft Auto 6, Grand Theft Auto 6, Grand Theft Auto 6, GTA 6, da, 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 da. Look at this. Grand Theft Auto 6 spammed everywhere. Holy crap, man. So Yeah, that definitely looks legit. Oh, here we go. We got this little box right here and an empty box. So let's go ahead and throw that out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my god, Grand Theft Auto 6 PS4! Yeah, this is obviously fake. Just some good graphic design. And the rest of the video, he doesn't even play the game. Like, imagine showing off a new game, but not even showing it to the people watching. This is how we know it's fake. Now, we saw one of these videos earlier, but we didn't watch it. It's titled, I played Fortnite with the worst controller possible. Like we saw earlier, there's another video that he made while using this controller, and in that video, he said it was overpowered. How does that make sense? Let's find out. All right, people. So it's about time for us to go ahead and show off the last controller in this video. And my God, bro, this is the worst one of them all. It's a PS3 slash PS4 Pro Street Fighter controller meant to be used for fighting games. Now, they finally got the button layout right. Triangle, circle, square, and X is definitely there. But the R1 and the R2 button is definitely placed right here alongside these buttons. 
Okay, this is a weird controller. Now let's see how it's the worst controller ever. No, no, <laughs> controller work with me. No. <laughs> All right, come on guys. Oh, there's two of them. Oh no, I hit him. I didn't kill him. Okay. No, 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 no. You, oh, stop trying. To... Oh my God. Okay, so you see how he can barely move with this? Now I'm curious to see why he said that it's the best controller in a different video. It's a PS3 slash PS4 Pro Street Fighter controller meant to be used for fighting games. Now, they finally got the button layout right. Triangle, circle, square, and X is definitely there. But the R1 and the R2 button is definitely placed right here alongside these buttons. Didn't we just hear the same audio in the last video? I've seen plenty of weird things while making these meat videos, but I've never ever seen someone literally use the same exact video, but title it differently. He literally uses the same three controllers in the video and the same audio as the last video. And why does this have 200,000 views? Now we have to take a look at one of the most basic clickbait videos ever. Like the title of this video is something that you would see on a shady V-Bucks website. Now the video is titled Season 8 Free V-Bucks Glitch. That is the most basic thing I've ever heard. Now let's see if this is a real glitch video and actually isn't clickbait. All right, so this is the cat. As you can see, two million Wait. v bucks. Oh, video. oh, hold on, hold on. How did you two million? How did you do it's that? How did you do that for real? It's how did you do that? I'm the number one actor oh in the world. Oh my bro. god, two this million! Two million v bucks. That's definitely real and wasn't edited or anything. I can use these v bucks to go ahead and buy skins or the battle pass if I wanted to. 100% bro, you can get the battle pass for completely free. You can get any skin for the rest of your life, all paid by your boy V-Bucks podcast. I'm telling you, don't miss out right now. Or log into the camera right now and have fun bro. Are you yeah? able to do this right now because there's like a glitch or like a little exploit in Fortnite? Or are you just like hacking into some secret database? Well, obviously I'm cheating and obviously I'm getting my way inside the security system and security flaws. But I, I can't really explain how I do it because if I do, then they will find out how to patch. I can just give you unlimited V-Bucks. I can give you any amount you want, bro. I can hook you up with anything you want in this game. Yeah, something tells me that this isn't true. I mean, I don't understand what their motive is. Two grown men hopped into a Discord call with each other and made a fake video. How do you find satisfaction in that? Like, they're actually proud of what they're doing with their lives. That's crazy. Now, we're about to take a look at one of the worst videos on Sernando's channel. The videos we have looked at are bad, but this one we're about to look at is the worst. It's super bad. The video is titled, Fortnite is not for kids, and the thumbnail is disgusting. I'm gonna blur it out just so nobody reports this video. Let's see what this weird video is about, and remember, this is the worst video on his channel. From the very beginning of Season 1, Fortnite female skins didn't look as unique as they do now. Back then, we would just have the normal looking combat clothes that any generic shooter would have. But fast forward all the way to Season 8, the females in their game started to look a little more thick. I just cringed so hard. Bro, I gotta say, Fortnite really needs to chill because sometimes they be releasing these skins that are just way too much for me to go ahead and handle. Like honestly, I be losing some games just simply because I be staring at the wrong thing at the screen sometimes. What's wrong with him? I hope you all know what he's talking about. There has to be something wrong with him. He said he stares at the skin in some pretty weird places. What? We can also see our girl right here arching her back a bit. At first, I didn't really understand why. It kind of looked dumb, especially where her legs crossed. But when we rotate the skin around, I started actually believing that dreams do come true. Now I'm definitely convinced that he has problems. What they should have done is made this the very first thing that you unlock. And as we progress through the stages, just give the skin less and less clothes. Because to be honest, I I'm pretty sure most people are just re re really digging the, the skin just w without the clothes. And stage one is what I usually rock when I'm actually having the skin right here. Do you guys hear this dude? What a weirdo. Now here's a little funny story about Calamity. 
they actually did introduce a brand new engine in the Fortnite game that they actually gave physics to her uh, chest area which a lot of people actually had no problems with whatsoever until all the jealous IRL girls got offended and they basically told Fortnite to remove it because apparently it was a mistake for them to actually have it in the game to begin with. Is this dude gonna talk about girl Fortnite skins the whole video or what? Jeez. Now there's two different types of people out there in the world. We got our people who like the lower behind and people who like the top part. Now Fortnite gave us options. Now if you're a man who actually likes the bottom part, then go ahead and keep the keep the very default skin, man. No no issue with that. Now if you if you're a man uh, of this type of taste and all you need to do is just go to stage one or two and that that's pretty much it don't ever touch stage three four or five uh, i'm not sure why they even exist in the game just just, just keep stage two one and and, and just base that, that's, that's all you need to do man i just learned why everybody hates him by watching this video and seeing what he's talking about remember he's talking about fortnite skins i know why everybody hates him now I'm pretty sure you guys remember how the females in Fortnite used to look like back in the day before they actually look like now. So back in the day they just look very bland looking, they didn't look very aesthetically pleasing to look at, pretty basic and just average looking females until they started introducing skins and they started firing all the people who did a t terrible job at designing them and now we have a... Uh, we, we, we have some pretty good Fortnite skins up until now and, and I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy they started introducing a whole new push. Can you believe this? He's literally making them dance and then talking about them in a weird way. And remember, these are Fortnite skins. Now, Sir Nando started off as a funny trolling YouTuber during Call of Duty glory days, but he slowly turned into this. That video we just watched will probably never leave my head. I'm feeling confused, disturbed, and just straight up weirded out by that video. That was probably the weirdest video I've ever seen. Even weirder than Benjamin Bennett's sitting videos and Stacy Toys videos. All in all, Sir Nando could have been a respected YouTuber if he wouldn't have started clickbaiting and making questionable videos. But by doing this, he's gained a whole bunch of subscribers and he's made a lot of money. <laughs> Many people, including me, might not like him, but seeing that he's been making these weird videos for over five years now, I don't see our hate stopping him anytime soon. But we can only hope though. This has been another meat video, and if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing.